climate change is happening, trees can play a very big role in mitigating this. Trees help our soils be healthy. Trees capture carbon. So if we have diverse species of trees as well, biodiversity brings resilience. So many roles of trees, why wouldn't people want to plant them? One of the key challenges has been the access to quality planting material. One really needs to be sure that we give farmers or planting communities quality planting material. What's going to grow from those seeds is going to be quality trees. Patspo was one of our first projects driving development of seed and seedling systems in Ethiopia. The Patspo project, that is a provision of adequate tree seed portfolios, was started in 2017. It is supported by Norway, NICFI, implemented by C4 ECRAFT and with good support from the Norwegian Embassy in Addis Ababa. We also have technical support from the University of Copenhagen. It is undertaken in collaboration with the Ethiopian government. Half of our land mass is already degraded. In order to reclaim this land and also make it more productive, tree planting is, uh, is crucial. Ethiopia is a country committed, among other African countries which are in the AFR 100, to plant 15 million hectares. Scientific based planting operations where we have uh, the right uh, species at the right size for the right purpose. And, uh, these are the things which we really need. We're trying to help establish policy enabled seed delivery systems. We are creating knowledge and information platforms. We have started the machinery of producing quality planting material, which is, belongs to the government in the National Tree Seed Centers. The overall objective of the PESPO project is to assist the government in getting the best possible seed available for the tree planting program they're doing. The project works at many different regions. We work in Tigray, we work in Amara, Oromia, the old SSNPR, Southwest region, Sidama and South region. We work a lot on making new high quality seed sources, which we call eating seed orchards or seedling seed orchards, which we are right in the middle of here. In this area, we have seven seed orchards which are established in collaboration with uh, Oromia Forest and Wildlife Enterprise. Uh, we give priority for native species, but also we establish other fast-growing exotic uh, tree species. The mother trees from this establishment are collected from the best sources in the country. The seed we produce from the breeding seed orchards are believed to be high yielders, but also resilient to predicted environmental changes. Then it is important that the seeds are being collected in the right way to maintain their viability. After collection, the seeds are being brought to the seed centers. Dima Tree Seed Center is one of five big tree seed centers. Uh, the objective of the establishment of this tree seed center uh, is to collect quality tree seed in quantity to satisfy the demand of uh, uh, tree seed in the region as well as in the country. The seed coming in, they are not clean. So the first they are being cleaned, they are being tested for moisture content, purity. At the end of the testing, the seeds are ready for storage at the storage facilities at the Dima Center. But for support of this tree seed center for uh, capacity building, for farmers as well as for the uh, staffs, at for support the laboratory equipment. Our uh, tree seed center efficiency is now uh, in a better condition. So the contribution of PATSPO is very high. The PASPO project has been going on for six years. It started in 17 and at the moment the second phase of the project will end by 2025. Tree improvement, seed procurement are long-term activities, so it would be desirable if there would be a third phase. We have established 45 breeding seed orchards for 19 tree species. 
Of which 11 are native. Capacities have been enhanced for the different stakeholders. This model is now being upscaled in four other additional countries in Africa. This is just the start. Our ambition is for the whole of Africa, for starters, and then we'll come to the other continents. In projects like PASPO, which are contributing to restoration, they have various many benefits to the government itself and of course to the people in the areas where the restoration is going on. It's the empowerment of the community in terms of capacity development and also there is the improving of livelihood. We still need a lot of area to be stored through tree-based restoration, through the seed centers, through the organized farmers, through the established PSO and SSOs. Parts for project will be really, really have a lasting impact on the activities of the forestry sector in this country.